Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Today we will talk about three important updates related to testing and development of Astra missiles and the upcoming new missile of Indian Air Force. First, we will talk about Astra Mark 1 and Mark 2 testing which is planned sometime this month and then we will quickly look into the new missile of Indian Air Force which it intends to procure in 250 numbers. As many of you would be aware that Astra uses inertial mid-course guidance through a secure data link from a mother aircraft followed by an active radar homing from its seeker head for terminal guidance. When Astra was being developed, DIDO has not developed the indigenous seeker technology. Therefore, to avoid the delay in the development process, the initial development of Astra was done using Russian EGART 9B1103M active radar seeker for terminal guidance. The entire development and design of Astra, including the firing trials up to the year 2017, was conducted with Russian active radar seeker. Later, DRDO had developed the Indian KU band active radar seeker in 2018, which is now fully functional. This indigenous seeker is featured in all present Astra Mark 1 missile as well as Akash 1S and Akash Prime missiles. Now, DRDO is planned to test Astra missile with new improved KU band AES seeker, which has been developed for Astra Mark 2. The active electronic scanning of AES seeker will enable the missile to instantly switch its beam and provide wide coverage without actually moving the antenna. This is achieved using the phased array technique in the signal processing which makes the jamming of these signals very difficult. Therefore, we can say that the new seeker will be better in terms of performance or kill probability against the highly maneuverable targets such as fighter jets and better resistance to jamming. Next, we'll talk about Astra Mark II testing. As we have reported earlier that this month, it's being reported that maiden trial of Astra Mark II will be conducted. The trial will be against an aerial target. Earlier, the unguided ballistic launch of Astra Mark II has been conducted and it was successful. The third missile that we are going to discuss is LRSGM or Long Range Satellite Navigation System Guided Missile for Indian Air Force and for which an RFI has also been released. This missile should be capable of avoiding enemy air defense system and still maintain high probability of hitting the targets. This can be achieved by the use of weapons with long standoff ranges while ensuring minimal losses. Therefore, a long range standoff weapon is an operational requirement to improve targeting deep inside the enemy territories. The LRSGM is planned to be long range precise air to ground supersonic weapon which can enhance the standoff ranges of fighter aircraft. The supersonic all weather day or night standoff weapon is to be equipped with multi purpose warhead configuration suitable for various type of targets which includes command and control center air bases logistic centers bunkers munition storage and other key infrastructure facilities the lrsgm is intended to be installed on all the fighter aircraft of indian air force using standard suspension as per the rfi 250 long range satellite navigation system guided missile is required. The anticipated delivery timelines for the first off production model should be no later than 24 months from the date of award of contract, and all the deliveries should be completed by no later than 48 months from the date of award of contract. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.